I'm 13 years old. I'm in the eighth grade. Every morning, my brother and I ride the bus to school in Bemidji, Minnesota. Bemidji, for those of you who don't know, is about 225 miles north of the Twin Cities of Minneapolis and St. Paul. We live about 12 miles north of that, so it's a long, long bus ride as the roads wind through the tall pines of northern Minnesota. Our bus is ruled by two bullies, Jake and Jeffrey. Jake is the older brother. He's the brains of the outfit. His younger brother, Jeffrey, is the muscle. If they don't like you, you're going to have a miserable school year. This is no fooling around. A friend of mine wound up getting in a fight with Jake's sister, and she got her face smashed against the window of the bus. This was not Lake Wobegon. This was no Norman Rockwell painting. This was the Lord of the Flies on a rolling yellow school bus. Every morning you got on the bus in terror. Would it be you today? Would it be your brother? I'm in fourth period English, Mrs. Jensen's English class. Mrs. Jensen is an intense woman. She has curly orange hair, big 80s glasses, and she is going to teach these eighth graders English. Today, Miss Jensen decides that we are going to divide up into pairs, and one person will read a paragraph, their partner will listen, and then they will switch, the other person reading, the other person listening. I am paired with Jake. I am terrified. If this goes badly, I could have a terrible rest of the year. I look at Jake. I say, do you want me to go first? He says, yeah. I begin to read my paragraph. Word by word, sentence by sentence, I get to the end. I turn to him, and I realize that Jake isn't reading. And then I realize Jake can't read. And so, slowly, word by word, sentence by sentence, I begin to read. And after time, Jake joins me. Word by word, sentence by sentence. We stop and smile when he gets a word. We stop and pause when he gets frustrated and can't get a word, but we get through it together. Jake smiles at me and I smile at him and he knows that I know his secret. And I didn't make fun of him and I didn't call him out in front of the class. And after that, after that day, things were different on the bus. I like to believe that Jake told Jeffrey, hey, leave him alone. He's all right. The years went on, and I lost track of Jake. I don't know whether he graduated or not. And if he didn't, I know that life is probably pretty hard for him. And I wonder if he thinks back upon that day, because I sure do.